Well, I have what I think is a pretty exciting video today. Before you get all excited, these are just the convention edition 2021 boxes. But, um, gosh, this is all from the same case. I don't know why I packaged them like this. I totally forget it now. But, um, yeah, they're all, like, half of this set, it feels like, has gotten reprinted in the last few months. Now, that's, a, that's an overstatement, but Commander Masters has seen Perforos and uh, Eureka and what else? Tem Teferi, Temporal Archmage, a bunch of cards that I'm sure I'll remember as I open. Uh, it's reprinted those, and then we had, obviously, the artifacts, things like Aether Flux Reservoir, etc., reprinted in Brothers War. That wasn't so bad. Elish Norn, remember when that was a $40 card? Well, no longer, thanks to Multiverse of Legends. Um, that's down to like 10 bucks. So I figure let's crack some mystery boxes. <sighs> As to which one to start with, I don't know why. I just feel like we're getting an Elish Norn. We're getting an Elish Norn, and I'm just going to remember how sweet it would have been to not hold on to these and open them, you know, six months ago. All right, let me think, let me think, let me feel it out. <sighs> this one. We're starting with this box. All right, guys, I might do all three. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how this first one goes. I love this product, I gotta say. I absolutely love this product. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> so I hope it treats me well. I love almost every product, I guess, but <sighs> something about just such a wide range of cards that you can pull. Goodness gracious, one moment. And I'm back, I'm back, all right. Come on, come on, come on. So I've only ever cracked a box for one other person once. <laughs> it's only happened once. I would love to do it again though. It's a lot of fun to not open for yourself <laughs> because you get all the joy of opening a box and none of the pressure. But obviously that's a luxury and you have to be like a real channel to do that. <sighs> Mystery. Now, I haven't cracked one of these in ages, so I'm going to miss some of the cards. Like, it's just hard to tell. Sometimes you have a totally serviceable, totally playable card. Whoa. Look at that. Are they all like that? I hope not. Huh. Doesn't that look a bit suspicious? Like, what in the world? Oh, come on. These are like 80% sure repacks. <laughs> it sure fooled me. Hold on. No, I don't know. Maybe not. These are just so shoddy, aren't they? <clears throat> All right. Well, we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Uh, I haven't actually opened from this case. I, this was like the end of a case I bought from somebody. All right, I don't know. How am I going to do this? How should I do this? Sky Marcher Aspirant. So, like I said, I'm going to miss cards. I'm not going to get them all. And uh, should we do white, blue? Because I think it's by colors, right? So we'll do, like, white, white. We'll do white there. We'll do blue, blue. Never happened. Sweet. I'll read them out as I go in case anybody's just listening. Never happened. Painful lesson. All right, I'm going to have to review prices after this. Seismic Shift, Battle Rampart, Byway Courier, that's our green. So what should we do? Should we do like a square? We'll do common and uncommons like this. Maybe I could do them all across the top like that. Boom, boom, black, red, and then green. And then maybe the hits down here. Let's see, Byway Courier, Thrashing Brontodon. Tower Gargoyle, then Colorless we'll put over here, I guess. Goblin Burrows, I'll put with Land or something, I don't know. Hunter of Eye Blights, uh, all right. And Boom Pile, with five kids in a trench coat. So let's see, I don't know how to do this. Maybe like that, and then these cards are a little bit, a little sus, aren't they? Hunter of Eye Blights, we'll do the rare there. <sighs> The retro there. Does that look like it makes any sense? <laughs> Let's see as we go. All right. 
oh my gosh, these are just weird. Like, did they get, if, were they, like, reattached down the middle? If they, this can't be, could that be? Were they, like, cut open and re-glued? That would be terrible. If that's the case, I'm upset. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. They looked legit, didn't they? Gus Walker and Path of Peace. Call to Heal and Snapping Drake. Reaper of the Night and Daring Demolition. Destructive Tampering and Undying Rage. Sylvan Bounty. It'd be sweet if they'd Sylvan Library in here. And Overgrown Battlement. Some of the Mist Meadow Witch. That's our multicolor. Breaker of Armies. So getting an Eldrazi in there. All right. Yabby Mabby Embracer for our retro frame. And oh my gosh. Did I not say we were going to pull an Elish Norn? <laughs> I, I, I said that at the beginning of this. It was on camera, I hope. Holy moly. I knew it. I, I Sometimes I have these feelings. Like the other day, I knew I was going to pull a Shieldred. I just knew it. And lo and behold, I pulled a Shieldred. Um, so, yeah, sometimes I'm just on it. What is going on? One pile is supposed to be my perfect fits. <laughs> okay. Those are definitely perfect fits. These top ones are not. Maybe I'll just flip these around. So, we're already starting the counter with a card that would have been way sweeter to pull uh, a little while ago. I'm not complaining. It's still a $10 card, but Elish Norn ain't what it was. TCG Guru. All right. I can't believe I called that, and it actually happened. I'm convinced, though, this can't be a repack if you pull an Elish Norn, unless they really just wanted the Crypt, and they went through all of this for the Crypt. I think it just looks sketchy. All right, Celestial Crusader. God, I love this product, guys. Fragmentize. I hope they do another mystery box. That'd be sweet. Of course, then we just get more reprints of cards we, you know, all cards that aren't reserve lists just go into zero. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, here we go. Stream of Thought and Propaganda. Sweet. So like I said, some of the cards I'm going to recognize, some not. Propaganda, hard to miss. <clears throat> Marsh Hulk and Blood Artist. All right, Blood Artist. I'll take that. <clears throat> Blood Artist. A Giant Spectacle and Zado's Commando. Silk Weaver Elite and Elvis Visionary. Prophetic Bolt, getting a lot of stuff that was reprinted in Double Masters 22. I totally forgot. Skull Clamp, what a pack. Skull Clamp, sweet. And then Archangel, all right, all right. I can't remember Archangel so well. And finally, Odric, Lunark Marshall, with a Golgari Death Swarm there in the back. I love Skull Clamp. Just because of how good this card is, I'm going to double sleeve it. What is going on? Where are my double sleeves? I don't understand what's going on in my nose right now. It's like I have a condition. I need to see the doctor. One second. You know, the AC just kills my nose. But it seems like I never have a problem until I start filming a video. So, Audric. I can't remember Audric so well in terms of pricing. So, we'll have to, like, check him out in the break. But so far, Skull Clamp, Elish Norm, some other goodies... At least Skull Clamp. Skull Clamp gets reprinted in like every Commander precon, but uh, not in Commander Masters. And what was the other one? Blood Artist. I don't know. And because uh, that's that's the name of the game here. I'm gonna do a value both before and after. Hey, nice little Ephemerate to start. I'm gonna do a uh, like a before and after in terms of value. Ephemerate. I'm gonna put down here. So before reprint, after reprint. Only if it was printed in the last few months. Like Elish Norn, that'll be like a minus thirty dollars. I think. <laughs> Cather's Companion, sweet. Wishcoin Crab. Uh, there is a crab in here with some value, but I don't think it's that. Snap a lap. There you go. Dominaria Remastered. Recent reprint. Still a sweet card, though. So snap, nice. Walk the Plank with Skeletal Scrying. I know I'm missing cards, and I, I feel bad already that I'm, I don't know the value of every card. Leaping Master and Goblin Balloon Brigade. Wolfkin Bond for the green. I might do a break here just to refresh my knowledge. Reclaiming Vines. Gazali Pride Mage, there we go. There's a big dinger. Okay. And Sigil of Valor. All righty, seeing all the, the BRO artifacts. With a Sapphire Charm, looking really cool. And in the back slot, 
Nin the Pain Artist with a Graveyard Dig. All right, so I'm going to take that second. I said I would. Actually, let's do one more. One more pack. Then I'm going to refresh myself on value so I don't look like a total dunce. Sparring Mummy. Sparring Mummy, a Johnny's Pride Mate. Very cool. Nagging Thoughts. Shaper Parasite. Prowling Pangolin. Very cool. Bar Bar Bartizan Bats. What? Galvanic Blast. Uh, I can't remember. Sweatworks Brawler. Praise Vengeance. God, so cool that you pull cards from like every set. So awesome. Airy Bowmasters. Hammer Dropper. Hammer Dropper into Filigree Familiar. And for the retro, Douchey Apprentice. I don't know what kind of good retro cards are in here. I don't know. And then in the back, it's just a rare Torian Mauler. All right. So I'm going to take that break I said, and I'll be right back. And I'm going to be an expert in all things Mystery Booster. I'm definitely a little bit too pleased with myself because the only card I missed was Galvanic Blast, which I would argue I recognized anyways. Um, so that was a pretty sweet run there. Uh, all the cards that I thought were hits were hits, and the cards that weren't were not. Now, that's a misrepresentation of my ability. I, I looked at the list, guys. It's too many cards. I'm not going to... I'm going to keep missing. But at least with Galvanic Blast, I guess it's kind of easy because it's still played, so you know it's got to have some value. Excavation. What is it? Excavation Elephant. Uncomfortable Chill. Dream Cash. Cadaver Imp, Death Denied, Ondu Champion. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Cosmotronic Wave, Natural Connection, <clears throat> and Pinion Feast. Unflinching Courage is our multicolor. Great Furnace. You know what? Uh, it's It's, you know... Good card to give as a bonus, I think. Oracle of Nectars. Okay. And Daretti, Scrap Savant. It's a mythic, but it's nothing too crazy. Still, very cool to get a Daretti. Uh, regarding Oracle of Nectars, I just don't fully know where to put it. But we'll put it there for now. All right, let's continue with a glint, sorry, glint sleeve artisan and seraph of the suns. Clear the mind and omen speaker, butcher's glee. So I'm interested to see if this is still worth it. If 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 all these reprints have totally tanked most of the value of convention edition Mr. Boosters, or if there's still something here to be had. Renegade tactics, snake umbra. That's oh man. Can't remember. Maybe it's a dollar. We'll check later. Borderland Ranger. Call of the Nightwing. Mishra's Bobble. So despite getting a reprint, that's still a sweet card. Chatter of the Squirrel. Okay. And finally, what do we got? Just a rare Angel of the Dire Hour. Fair enough. Fair enough. With a How to Keep Your... Uh, and Is It Mage Busy? That's a mouthful. All right, so Angel of the Dire Hour, nothing crazy. If I had opened Jumpstart and pulled that, I'd be like, yeah, but it's so cool to open it here. All right, the Bobble. Bobble's always cool. It does strike me, though, how much of this has been reprinted. <laughs> this must have been amazing to open at release. All right, decommission. And Lieutenants of the Guard. Would love to get a Recruiter of the Guard. That would be a nice card to pull. And Soul Artifact. And Borrowing 100,000 Arrows. Really cool. Love that card. Skeleton Archer. And Phyrexian Reclamation. Sweet. This is my favorite art for this card, too, by the way. Awesome. All right. And Mardu Warshrieker. And Prophetic Ravings. Seek the Horizon. Beautiful, beautiful card. And Kalani Heart Expedition. Oh, I didn't realize that the one in, uh, well, actually it makes sense, in J22 was a reprint, but just it's just the flower. And I think I like the uh, original better, as I often do. 
All right, Woody Thoctor, Call the Scions, really cool. I love all these uh, Eldrazi cards. Oh, man, that is sweet. Dictate of Erebos and Urza's Rage. Wow, I'll take a Dictate any day. Is this the perfect fit? Yep, awesome. Sweet hit, guys, sweet hit. Love it. Dictator Parabos. Awesome. Bear with sets mechanics. Mechanic. I love it, too. <laughs> Alright. Let's continue. I should have a maybe pile. A, a pile of cards that, I, that might be hits. Just so I can save face later when I realize what I've forgotten. Alright, here we go. Aura of Silence. Very cool. And Pentark Ward. Gone Missing. And Jace's Phantasm. Subtle Strike. You know, I realized how hard it is to actually do well on this set. Because it's 180 about, right, for 24 packs. Forge Devil could be some. Zealot of the God Pharaoh. And, uh, yeah, I mean, and there's not a lot of cards anymore over 20, right? You don't get Rhystic Study. That's gone. Uh, you have Mana Crypt, obviously, but Elish Norm's like a $10 card now, as I mentioned. Um, Perforos went from like 20-something down to 15 because of Commander Masters, so it's not a lot of cards up there. You have a couple $20 ones like Lotus Petal. River Hopi. These are multicolor. Lightning Greaves. Gosh, but we are getting a lot of hits, it feels like. That's awesome. Guided Passage, all right, basically exactly the same as in Double Masters. I think they also kept that like retro frame too, right? Or am I going crazy? I don't know. All right, and what do we got in the back slot? It is a just a rare. Deadly Tempest and a Berry's Land. Deadly Tempest, dead and... Well, Lightning Greaves for sure. Deadly Tempest, we'll have to look up where that sits right now. All right. Did they reprint this in Commander Masters? I don't know. It would make sense. It's a big Commander card, but hopefully not. It's kind of like Skull Clamp. It shows up in a lot of pre-cons, I feel like. All right, Gift of Estates. All right, just pulled a bunch of those in Strixhaven. Core Firewalker. The Firewalker. Is it like Spirit Dancer? I can't remember. We'll have to put it there for now. Cloak. Blue Ellie Blast. Love it. Nothing like Red Ellie, but still sweet. Stab Wound in the back there. Stab wound into unburden. Oh, unburden. Okay, okay, okay. Subtle strike might have been something we gotta look after. Now I'm just pushing at everything. Orcish cannonade with a charging montresor. Pierce the sky. Maybe I'll do all three boxes and I'll do a little financial analysis at the end. Pierce the sky and grazing glad chant. Wrath caption. Ship's mage. Oh my gosh. Here's another card. Would have been amazing to pull a year ago. This has been reprinted both in Brothers War and now in Commander Masters. In the uncommon slot, mind you. But still cool to see. Greater Gargadon. There's a big whiff. And what do we have behind that? Ooh, sweet, sweet, sweet. The Archive with a pit, pitch, pithing, pithing spyglass there in the back. It's kind of like Pithing Needle. So the Archive is sweet, sweet hit, and so is Ashnod's Altar. So we're really spicing things up here. This is why I love this set. It's just, if it weren't for those reprints, you know. Oop, oop. Ashnod's Altar, though, is always going to have value. Just such a good card. Always going to be worth a couple bucks. All right, time to push on. So Great Furnace, which, again, I give myself credit for, I recognized, is also, in fact, a hit. Right above a dollar. The only thing that's kind of close but isn't is Gift of Estates. I'll, I'll move it here just because it's above the common rabble of all this other stuff. Uh, not much above it, but just, just a bit above it. So we'll put it up there. All right, guys, let's keep pulling through. Mana Crypt on the way. Don't be fooled by this weird... Is that another ephemerate? No, Savannah Lines, right? Savannah Lines. <sighs> Not another ephemera. It's amazing how many cards have been reprinted. So Ashnod's Altar is another casualty of the reprint. It hasn't yet sunk, but it's going to sink down to like two or three, I am sure. And um, Hedron Crab, that's the crab that I want to get. It just, just came into my head. 
And what else do we got? What else? Uh, Zulaport Chain Mage. Hmm. Hmm. Vampire Lacerator. Cobble Brute. Did, wait, wait, wait. Did we pull an Impact Tremors? Or is that just my head? It's just my head. Wow, I'm losing my mind. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Sorry about that. For a second, I thought maybe I had missed another one. I don't think I'm going to miss any more. I think I actually do know all the cards at this point. All right, Cobble Brute and Rush of Adrenaline. Zendikar's Royal, that's kind of like right on that, that. You know, I'll separate it. It's like right on the cusp. It's like Gift of Estates. Cross and Tracker. <clears throat> Riptide Crab, all right. Not Hedron Crab. Getting into the juicy stuff. Flare Husk. And for the retro card, Guilt Leaf Palace. Uh, yeah, I think so. And then what's the final card? What is it? Just a rare. Krenko, not bad. And then a Queen of Beetles. Not bad. So Guilt Leaf Palace, <sighs> I'll put there. Because either way, it's kind of like a nice little giveaway I can give. I don't think it needs to be sleeved, but, uh, you know, it's somewhere there. All right, I need sleeves. I definitely should have paused there. I don't know why I kept it running. All right, classic. All right. This is an example of something I should edit out, but because I don't edit much. Well, these sleeves suck. I thought these were still, whatever, doesn't matter. Let's go, next one. Keep getting scammed on sleeves. <laughs> Keep ordering one kind, and then I get the cheaper version. Like, TCG Guard makes some good, or uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, Ultimate Guard makes some good sleeves, but these are the soft ones, the kind of crappy ones. That's okay. Soul Strike Technique and Faith Bearer Paladin. Phyrexian Ingester, sweet. Negate, with the best art of Negate. Bit of revelation. Oh, I just realized, isn't Lotus Petal a common? Carrion Feeder, Carrion Feeder. That's kind of like on the, on the edge there. Uh, right, Act on Impulse, and a Lightning Javelin, Creeping Mold, looking really cool. Creeping Mold into another Thrashing Brontodon, so I guess you can get duplicates. Even with the 1,600 cards on the sheet, you can, in fact, get duplicates. A Crow and Hoplite, Heavy Arbalist, Belby's Portal, and finally, for the back slot, Prey Sizer Dragon. So that was probably the first time we didn't have a hit. I would have to think, right? First pack where we had zero hits, potentially, unless I missed something. Got to make up for it. If you have a zero pack, you need to have like a big pack because <laughs> of how expensive the boxes are. You need something big. All right, here we go. Abzan Runesmark, except that it's just fun to open. So compelling argument. Yes, it is a compelling case for this box, I think. Aether Trade Winds, Tar Snare, looking real nasty. Plague White, Hammerhand. Come on, let's get something juicy here. Dis Distemper of the Blood. Rock Smallers. We're actually doing a lot worse than my last open, now that I think about it. Rock Smallers. Ancient Stirrings. You know what? I'm going to say that is just maybe a 20. I'll, I'll separate it just slightly. Uh, Iros' Champion. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sunset Pyramid. Looking really cool. Thrun, the last troll, and what do we got in the back? Just a rare. Oh, boy. Sewer Nemesis, really? Oh, man. How, how are we doing here on packs? We've got one, two, three, four. I'm taking them all out. We're counting them down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just past halfway. And we've got a lot of work as far as value is concerned. A lot of work. <sighs> Guest Cloak. Skirmisher. All right, come on, value. Come to Papa. Tandem Tactics. Contradict. Cloud Raider Sphinx. Dows in Gloom. Come on, baby. Come on, Dusk Legion Zealot. Ah, it's not a hit, but it's, I'll separate it. Oh, it's not a hit. I can't do that. All right, Hardened Berserker, 
shock. A little bit of shock action. Where did I see that last? Core 21, I think, right? Wait, wait, it says right there. Core 19, what am I talking about? Feral Prowler into Feral Crushnuck. Thopter Foundry. Come on, baby. Field of Ruin in the cool art, but nothing crazy. Phyrexian Soul Gorger, you know, it's not nothing. And finally, Green Belt Rampager with a plain merge elf. You got to give me one sec. I'll be right back. All right, let's continue. You know, it's just hard. This is a tough set. Like, it feels like you need... We're going to need a 10 euro hit in each of the next packs to break even, probably. So just unlikely, right? But it's still so much fun to open. Wall of Omens is, again, kind of like right on that cusp. Well, I'll put it down as like something, oh, again, above the rabble. Singing Bell Strike with Glacial Crasher. Torment of Venom into Trial of Ambition. Stormblood Berserker. I still feel we're going to get an Impact Tremors here somewhere. Not yet. Mog Fanatic. Domesticated Hydra, last seen in J22. Broken Bond. A Maverick Thopterist. All right, all right, all right. Maverick Thopterist into Implement of Malice. For the colorless, okay, and behind that we get Umbral Mantle. Now that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. And what do we have behind it? Just a rare Cauldron of Souls. Umbral Mantle, that's something. Cauldron of Souls, can't remember if it's anything notable. These are just like nothing, unless did I miss a Sliv Mizzet uh, Silvestri Monstrosity, that's it. Oh, I love Guerrilla Tactics, the art is amazing. Golgari Death Swarm. That's not even like bad art. That's not even jokey art. That is just incredible art, right? Am I missing something? It's not jokey at all. It's supposed to be jokey. All right. Come on, Mana Crypt. Come on, baby. Oh, we got a Danitha to start things off. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, Danitha. All right, Danitha. Shoulder to shoulder. River Dark. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fairy Invaders. Vampire Nighthawk. Rot, Rorf, Rot Feaster Maggot, Arc Trail, come on baby, come on baby, come on baby, Cinder Hellion, Rose Thorn Halberd, we've had some real big misses here in the last few packs, <gasps> Formless Nurturing, Claim, which one's this, this is Claim Fame, right, Claim Fame, that's what it is, all right, Claim Fame into the colorless card, Gruel Signet, into the retro card, Viachino Sandstalker, into just a rare. Tireless Tracker, at least. Tireless Tracker's okay. All right, I think so. Nothing crazy, but just fine. Oh boy, guys, we need something big here. We need we need a massive Lompy Dompy hit. Anok Bondkin, Dismantling Blow. All right, fixing that. Benthic Giant, Academy Journey Mage, Induced Despair. Come on, baby. Eye Blight's ending. Direct Current, Roast. The Ledge Walker. Look at that. It's like uh, last time I went cliff jumping, I felt like it was like that, but I was only a few meters in the air. All right. Arachnus Web. Come on, baby. Skyward Eye Prophets. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. Again, sweet art, though. Akum Refuge. All right, getting some land cards that I can put into giveaway packs. Draco. Ooh, Draco I think is pretty nice, right? And in the back slot, just a rare. A Crowan Horse. Um, I can't remember with Draco. I'll put it there for now. All right, a Crowan Horse. Could have been more exciting. All right, guys, come on. We still got this. Voice of the Provinces with a Cather's Companion once again. A wretched griff looking real nasty. Whoa. Oh, that's a mistake. Maybe these are repacks. Because that's not how it's supposed to be. Gosh darn it. Am I really getting taken for a ride here? It's supposed to be a blue card. Oh, it is kind of blue. Emerge 5. Maybe it's right. Maybe I'm 
Yeah, that could be right. Okay, Cabal Therapy and Accursed Spirit Hyena Pack, because it doesn't feel like a repack in terms of how these cards have been. Salivating Gremlins, Penumbra Spider, Priest of Beautiful Titania, thank you so much. And a Baleful Strix. See, this, this is what we were missing, guys. The multi hit per pack situation and look at this one after the other so baleful strix thought vessel which of course is being reprinted commander master so it's probably not worth anything anymore and then behind that we have weathered wayfarer okay but in the way back boros reckoner with the, ooh ooh sliv mizzet hive mind is that something it's not what i was thinking of i'm thinking of sylvester monstrosity but i think what i said was sliv mizzet hive mind so maybe that's something too all right so it's sweet that we did get Thought Vessel, Baleful, and Priest of Titania. They're not what they were, but um, the Wayfarer. Is that back from Legends? No. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> and Boros Reckoner. I'm losing my mind. All right. How many Mythics so far? We got the Passage. Oh, wow. We're really running low. Is this six left? Six left. We got a quarter of the box left. What do we got? Conviction. I don't lack conviction. I just lack a little bit of luck right now. Light Walker. Actually, that last pack was good. I can't even say that. Retraction Helix. The Bondkin. Grave Digger. Love Grave Digger. Come on, who doesn't love that card? Sipping a bit of coffee in the middle of digging some grave. Look at that muscle. All right, Grave Digger Fireball. Impact Tremors. Nope. Cathartic Reunion. All right. Eternal Witness, I think also being reprinted in Commander Masters, but who gives a crap? Still a good card. Good, good, good green card. <clears throat> All right. Clip Wings. Vengeful Rebirth. Come on, baby. Pilgrim's Eye. Come on, baby. Give me something crazy. Hedron Crab. Nice. That's something nice. And then in the way back, it's a mythic, but it's nothing crazy. It is Nissa, Voice of Zendikar. All right. All right. All right. Hedron Crab was cool. Hedron Crab was cool. I hate that I have to pause again, but I got to pause again. And we got ourselves a Planeswalker in the in the form of Nyssa. All right, I'll be right back. Be right back. All right, we're back. And I quite embarrassingly whiffed on a number of cards here. Belbay's Portal uh, and Thrun, which Thrun I should have recognized. It's just I know it wasn't a big hit, but it's still above a dollar. So... Give the troll some credit. The big one is the Wayfarer. I just, I think it's because I couldn't really read the card. It just didn't connect. All right. You, you know, the hit pile looks huge, right? But most of it are these, like, half hits. Actually, not most of it, but, you know, we have some cards in here, like, uh, actually, these are all sweet. Like, Boros Reckoner. These are sweet. Oh, I forgot about, oh. Uh, well, you know what? A lot of these are Cauldron of Souls, Wall of Omens, Green Belt Rampager. Sewer Nemesis, Ancient Stirrings, Prey Sizer Dragon, right? Those aren't actually hits, but it, it's still got some heft to it, this this section. So, I don't know. Maybe I was a little too close to fast to judge, quick to judge. All right, this is the Mana Crypt right here. Just like I was able to tell we were going to pull an Elish Norn, I just know we're pulling a Mana Crypt. Let's do it. I actually don't have the same feeling as I did for Norn. I feel like this box has given me what would have been a good open, just if I had opened it a few months ago, because Norn is just nothing anymore. Capture Sphere. Going back to ZNR. Concentrate. Come on, let's get a Demonic Tutor in here. Can we please Balustrade Spy? Nope. Beetleback Chief. Going all over the place. Jumpstart, another... Well, those are all reprints there, too, but... Ba-ding, ba -ding. Rune Claw Bear with Adventurous Impulse. Esper Charm, okay. All right, come on. How many do we have? It's four. Okay, four. So Esper Charm gives way to Renegade Map. Gives way to Cargan Dragon Lord. Let's go. We got ourselves another sweet mythic. And then in the back, just a rare commit to memory with a Kaya Ghost Haunter in the back. Well, at least we got the Cargan Dragon Lord. That's sweet. At least we did that. All right. And then commit memory. You know. We'll put Cargan up front. So last time I opened it, I got like a Lotus Petal, a two Demonic Tutor, uh, Perforos. Uh, I got like every good hit. Coat of Arms, All is Dust. 
but just tons of good hits. Cotton the Blights, Bright, sorry. Uh, Tarashi's Grasp, Silver Quill Adept, Skittering Crustacean. I realized this was so much more fun when I didn't know the cards. Alley Strangler, White of Precinct 6, or where there was like, you know, some unknown quantity, like, oh, is this a hit? Maybe it's a hit, and who knows? And then it just felt like you were discovering cash. Sakura Tribe Elder, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll separate that. I mean, I don't know where, that would rank, or I'll separate that too. Shambling Remains. <clears throat> Ornithopter, not so exciting. What do we got here? Lotus Petal, please Lotus Petal. Instead, it's crenellated wall. Okay, and then mana crypt. Mana crypt. No, it's just a rare. Living death. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. All right, not bad. Three left. Come on, baby. Hyena Umbra. Oh, you got Snake Umbra in here. Hyena Umbra. Got a lot of the Umbras, huh? All right, Hyena Umbra and Angelic Gift. Ooh, check that out. Sir Eleonora. The Discerning. Tandem Lookout, Twins of Moor Estate, Boom, Baleful Am, damn it, Furnace Whelp, come on baby, Furnace Whelp gives way to Oncrup Crasher, Onto Giant, come on, come on, come on, come on, Explore, Ethereal Ambush, we got something, something's coming, I can feel something's coming, Rogue's Passage, not a hit, but I'll put it in the hit pile, because it will sell, behind that, can't even read it. Oh, Lash Knife Barrier. You know, don't think so. I mean, it's just an uncommon anyways. But what do we got? A Mythic? Just a rare. Come on, be something crazy. Champion of the Parish. You know what? It's still a hit. What do we got here? Visitor from Planet Q. Looking cool. Champion of the Parish, like Champion of the Perished, is, you know, one or two bucks. Two left. This is it. We definitely didn't hit that 10 euro average I described, uh, dis described us needing, but, um, you know, we still have been doing okay. All right. I'll do a quick, uh, the cartouche of solidarity. I'll do a, uh, financial review at the end of this. Hinterland Drake, Glacial Crasher, could really use, like, a demonic tutor or something. Gurmog Angler. Is that still something? It could be. I don't know. I'll, I'll separate it for now. Or keep it going. Okay, come on. Impact Tremors. Goblin War Chief, close enough. Lana War Elves. You know what? It's just a usable card, but I don't. Lana War Elves. <sighs> Ambassador Oak. Sweet. I don't know what to do with the elves. I'll put them here. It's just a card I know I can slot right away. Citadel Castellan. Diamond Mare. Come on, baby. We only have two packs left. Don't do me like this. Bow of Nylea, that might be something. And finally, just a rare Chasm Sul Skulker. Buried Ogre, the Elves I'll put here, but it, it's not worth anything, but I can slot it. Okay, last pack, guys. Oh my gosh, last pack. <sighs> stave off, stave off these bad thoughts. Come on, baby, let's do this, let's do this. Candlelight Vigil, Embodiment of Spring. It looks more like winter, but I see the little green, so I get it. Fairy Mechanist. Come on. Demonic Tutor. And Demonic Tutor. Animate Dead. Sweet. All right, there's a hit. Nice. Animate Dead. Dragon Fodder. Come on, baby. Impact Tremors. Uncaged Fury. Close enough. <clears throat> Not really. Quiet to Disrepair. Anox Survivalist. Tatiova. If only, again, this was before Dominary Remastered, that would have been quite a nice little hit there. Benthic Infiltrator. Toxin Sliver. Could that be something with everybody caring about slivers again? Maybe. And just a rare. Wheel of Fate. You know what? That's an appropriate card to end on. But you know what? I'm happy about Mr. Animate Dead here. I'm going to go through the cards. I'm going to do a little financial review, and I will be back in a second. Well, a little bit longer than that. All right. There it is, the box. Um, pretty mixed. Pretty bad compared to the other boxes I've opened. Part of that is because we lost like 30 bucks right here in Elish Norn. Um, if Elish Norn, Ashnod's Altar, or some of the others hadn't been recently reprinted, uh, we'd probably be at 135 instead of about 100 euros of value. I separated it into three categories. Uh, here we have the 
sort of, you know, anything worth selling up to about a dollar. Gloom Skulker or uh, Chasm Skulker, I know, is like two your two bucks in the states, but for me, it's only about fifty cents on card market. You have some good cards in here: Eternal Witness, Snap. What else did I put in this pile? Deretti, which is almost a dollar. Angel Dire Hour, not bad. Blue Ellie Blast is okay. Um, Phyrexian Soul Warder is pretty interesting. What else we have in here? Draco. Cargan, yeah, I was so wrong about this. 40 cent card. Rancor. Secure Tribe Elder is okay. Lanwar Elves. Tetiova just got reprinted. So I estimate this whole pile is about 10, 10 bucks, right? Um, as I went through, or what I'll list it for. Here we have the one to two range, right? Cauldron of Souls, again, three bucks in TCG Player, two dollars or less for me. Ephemerate, good card. Gavanic Blast, Mishra's Bobble, Great Furnace, Thought Vessel, Belbase Portal, Thrun, um, The Wayfarer, Champion of Parish, Bow of Nylea, Blood Artist, and Wheel of Fate. That adds another 20 or so, and then we got about 70 here in the end. Elish Norn, Dictate of Erebos, and The Archive are the three biggest hits that we had, and then we had Animate Dead, Propaganda, a lot of these solid cards, Hedron Crab, Lightning Greaves, Skull Clamp, Ashnod's Altar, Reclamation, Krenko, Guiltleaf Palace, Umbral Mantle, Tireless Tracker, Priest of Titania, Baleful Strix, Voices, Endicar, and Living Death. These are all about three or more uh, with these three here, and maybe even extending it with like a Greaves or something to above the five category. So, you know, not, not a great opening, I'll be honest, but interesting anyways, and a ton of fun. On to box number two, and you know, I don't know what to do with all these playtest cards. If somebody wants them, I'll just give them away in a block. Just leave a comment, and they're all yours. Can't wait for box two.